So how can we possibly move forward without kicking off the ground? The answer is to lean forward. You can see that I'm here and I used to be here. I pull my back leg in and slide it out. This system is exactly how segways work. And that's why when you see a ninja running in animation, they're usually striking a pose. Hey guys, welcome to Ace Aoshima's Authentic Samurai Channel. I'm your host, Ace Aoshima. Most of you watching this clip could probably imagine how a ninja runs. Something like this, right? I'm a little bit more old school, so this is what I tend to think of. But either way, ninjas are portrayed in running this very forward-leaning form, and that's because it's driven from an old Japanese way of running. I mean, Japanese people back in the day had a completely different way of walking and running. And this applied to both ninja and samurai, and that's why I know this. In this episode, we'll unveil the secret of samurai slash ninja run, and you'll come to understand why ninjas run the way they do. Alright, without further ado, let's check it out! Okay, so in short, this method uses gravity to pull us forward, instead of using our feet to kick forward. WTF, right? So let me explain. When we run today, we twist our body, make use of our arms, and kick off the ground to move forward. So how can we possibly move forward without kicking off the ground? The answer is to lean forward. And from here, I pull my back leg in. You can see that I'm here, and I used to be here. And I got here without kicking off the ground. Things fall over when center of gravity goes beyond its base. And our center of gravity is around our hips. Base is the area between our feet. Right now, my center of gravity is above my base. But if I lose the support of my front leg, I fall again. I can also get the same effect by loosening my front knee instead of lifting it. And I still fall forward. And while I do that, I pull my back leg in and slide it out. To clarify, I'll demonstrate step by step and then smooth it out. Lean, step forward, pull back leg in, release knee, take another step. Lean and slide leg out, pull back leg in, release and slide out. Lean and slide leg out, release knee and pull the leg through. When done correctly, it feels like you're continually falling forward. Like what's happening is that you're, you start to fall forward and your base catches up. But the, by the time your base catches up, you're already falling forward again. So you're always slightly off balance in the front, but never hitting the ground. And interestingly, this system is exactly how segways work. When you ride a segway, you tilt forward to move forward, right? You tilt forward, which moves your center of gravity. And instead of using our own legs, the chip inside the segway calculates that and moves the wheels, which makes the base catch up with you. So you tilt forward, but never hit the ground. See? Seek in the past to find the future, right? There's always interesting jewels of wisdom in ancient knowledge. So by now, you might have figured out how this relates to the ninja run. We lean forward to run instead of pushing off with our legs, and the further we lean, the faster we go, but the harder it gets to control your base. So the anime ninja you see with their upper body like parallel to the ground is an extreme version of this, right? Realistically, that's probably impossible, but who knows, maybe the master ninjas back in the day could have done it. Also, this method doesn't require us to twist our body or make use of our arms, because literally we're just falling forward. And that's why when you see a ninja running in animation, they're usually striking a pose, right? Because the hand just has to be out of the way. And as an ending note, this method isn't necessarily faster than the way we run today. I mean, if it is, then we'll have all the Olympians do it, right? The advantage of this method is that it's very energy efficient since, you know, we're making gravity do most of the work. A real life application to this is when you're climbing up a hill. You fold towards the hill and makes the climbing a lot easier. Alright, that's it for this clip. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.